vision of uh, the ideal where AI and robotics can be used to actually improve a human skill. In this case, it's ping pong, but we want these people all around us to use it responsibly to actually increase worker skills. And that's so, right. so if I play this long enough, will Skynet be born? Or is that? Well, it's going to keep. That's what he that, said. So that, yeah, no. so the AI, the AI is optimized to increase the number of rounds, not decrease. Yeah. Increasing is actually giving you more and more practice. And that's gotcha. what's optimizing. Does it give me tips every time I mess? Yeah. So I, well, I mean, it's a little bit loud. Actually, we tried to put yeah. the audio in to give you tips along the way. <laughs> it's not strict ping pong. Double bounce doesn't matter. Just, just keep going. Keep the rhythm. So on this side of the booth, we're showing off our actual products. Everything that you saw in Forpheus is actually being used in the real world in industrial automation, or automotive, or healthcare, or medical, or uh, energy management, and other things, right? Man, that machine is just cooking. That's right. This is the same type of robot. Yeah. The same type of robot used to uh, demonstrate ping pong, right? It yeah. can be used in the real world for things like pick and place applications. And this, instead of tracking a ball, it's tracking real products on a conveyor belt line and then sending that signal to the robot to pick in place. That's called vision guided robotics. Yeah. So these won't hit me then. If I get in front of them, they'll yep, just... you can get right in front of them. You can jump right in front of them. They'll go, they'll try to get around you. If you back up into it, then that's different, right? So it won't dodge me. I can't try to kick it. If it's not gonna... Back, <laughs> sorry, if you kicked it from the back. Okay, so when I was in front of it, it just kind of stopped. It didn't try to turn or anything? Because you were really close. Oh, so. You were really close. So if it, you get really better, close, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll really just close, stop. It'll stop. But if you try, yeah, but if you're doing this, it's going to try to find a path around you to keep on going. Okay. In the real world, this would be a pharmaceutical delivery system. Gotcha. Where, if, you know, some pharmaceuticals are very expensive and they go to very specific patients. Yeah. And the rooms don't move, right? Yeah. The people move, yeah. and the rooms don't move. Okay. So you teach it the map of your hospital, and then inside there'd be an RFID tag box. And only the nurse for that patient can open that box in order to get that pharmaceutical out. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Watch out a little bit. This is a safety light If you put your camera in there, it will stop. Oh, okay. But this is good worker safety. So the idea is that if a worker put their hand in something, we want to make sure that the machine stops and slows down and keeps them safe. It doesn't take their hand. Right. Okay, so they're about to showcase this automated tool where they're basically going to scan my CES badge. And this machine, with all the stuff that I just showed you, is automatically going to take a 10 and they're going to make like an engraving automatically all with these machines. So let's check this out. This is getting exciting. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to load yours in and I'll personalize it just for you. You two are neck and neck. Okay, so it's automatically loading it from those little robots that I showed you. And now this is just going to be a laser cut or a laser etch. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Dude, that was awesome. The little machine automatically loads it on the conveyor belt and then it pops it right out just by scanning it in. Thank you, appreciate it. And just like that, I got my own custom tin with the QR code and everything for CES. Look at that. All with, all with the artificial, all with Skynet. That's basically what it's with. Artificial intelligence. So there's a lot of.